Hey, this is Mike. I'm in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina at Judd Coon Chevrolet and I'm checking out a 2015 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 High Country and this one has the Duramax diesel 6.6 .6 liter V8 with the 6 speed Allison transmission. This is a heavy duty truck with a lot of comfort and class. So let's check it out. Here in the front, it has the a combination of uh, regular headlights and uh, like the reflector headlights and the projector headlights. And um, they're all halogen from, not exactly sure on the uh, projectors, but uh, I'm pretty sure they're halogen. And you can tell this truck has a really good stance to it. Uh, with a 2500, it's got, so it's got a really beefy uh, suspension and um, so it's got a, a really not, I wouldn't say gr aggressive grill but it's got like a it looks like it can handle anything type type appearance and and um, so anyways let's continue on over here and check out the the wheels here they are 20 inch wheels and they are chrome clad to match the you know, the rest of the chrome has got the chrome accents, the chrome side steps and everything, as well as the side mirrors. It does have the Duramax badge here. On both sides of the hood. And it's got the, uh, the styling with, with the way the, um, the, the wheel wells are kind of, kind of squared off. Like that, it just kind of, it gives it a, a tough look to me. There's the high country badge with the mountains and everything. There's the side mirrors and it does have the, the turn signal markers here and the LEDs. And you do have um, you do have this the separate uh, mirrors here. One is for um, uh, you know checking maybe possibly your, your back tires where they're landing or um, your blind spot stuff like that. the window sticker you can check that out now I don't know the fuel economy because it's not rated on this vehicle since it is a heavy-duty vehicle let's take let's take a look at the inside but before that before that uh, here's the key and I want to go ahead and start it up and show you that it does have remote start and um, and you can see there's even some chrome around the key which uh, matches the, um, the rest of the truck it is a key fob and then it has a key separate and um, so anyways so now I'm gonna go ahead and unlock it unlock it all and check out that interior I mean that brown it's like a western brown on the inside kind of a two-tone brown dark and a little bit lighter brown with some wood wood grain accents there you got the pockets there on the doors, um, different storage places. Because definitely when you're, you know, you're working and you're out and doing stuff, you definitely want to, you know, keep your hands free so you can uh, set stuff down in places that, you know, you know, it's not going to be in the way, and um, and you know, it could be, you know, right where it is. It does have the premium Bose sound system. It has the power seat on the passenger side. It does have the heated and air conditioned seats in this truck. And you can see the little perforations there to allow the, um, the air to flow through. It does have the embroidery of high country in the, in the headrest there. It has two low compartments, a small one and more of a larger one there. And you see it does come with an adapter for the trailer hitch because um, the trailer hitch has the heavy duty size and that's the regular size there and here on the side of the console you do have a place to put a, a file folder or junk mail or whatever happens to be in your hand when you get in the truck it does have a handle here too all right looking in the back you can see there's no skimping on quality on the back door 
the same as the front. It looks like it even might have a little bit more um, a storage capacity. And also, I like the way they have the water bottle holder here in the front. So when you're sitting there, it's right there, um, convenient to get to. And you can check out the leg room. This is a, a full-size back door, four-door truck. So you got plenty of room for the uh, the back seat passengers. So um, and of course the quality of the seat is just the same as the front, the comfort level, and all that. You got some storage pockets there, um, and I think these are speakers inside the, here. I'm not 100% on that, but I think that's the case. Now there's some connectivity options there, and the reason why. It does have the uh, a DVD entertainment system right up here. So let's open it up. This is a new truck, so there's still some packaging on it there. But um, I think you get the idea. You do have some lights there if you need those. All right, and also, um, I'll show you something else. Uh, well, cup holders are there, but you do have a storage place there. Underneath the seats, um, this is an option that you can get these, uh, like this big storage bin here. And that way, so when you're putting stuff underneath the seat, use the, it's utilizing that space under the seat as a good storage space. And when you put the stuff in there, it's not rolling out and getting in the way of your feet or whatever. You can actually utilize that, that space under the seat as, as a storage space. And that's an option um, uh, in, this, in this particular vehicle. And you can tell the side steps are super heavy duty. Look at that tailpipe, that's massive. Now looking at the back, you can see it has several things. One that stands out is your towing package there with the four and seven way plugs, depending on what you need. You also have the backup sensors, these little round things here to alert you if something's in your way when you're backing up. You also have the backup camera, which is this little lens right here high country badge and also you have side steps here so you can step up here and um, and basically get into in the back of the truck a little bit easier than trying to make um, you know the step all the way up to like say the tailgate or something this is a locking tailgate if you wanted to lock it you can using the key now when you it comes down slow I don't know if you notice that so um, so when I let go of it it's not going to slam down. It's got a like some kind of assistance there to lower it and also make it easier to lift back up. So it's a heavy duty tailgate. You want it strong, but as far as you breaking your back, trying to lift it up and stuff, uh, it does have some assistance there. Now this does have the um, factory spray in bed liner. So this is not anything that the dealership added. It comes from the factory with the, the spray in there. And that way you know um, that uh, it's going to protect your bed but also, you're not, you know no moisture or anything is going to get underneath the bed liner like a plastic one would. And you see it's got the Chevrolet symbol there, uh, embossed into the metal of the back of the truck. You got tie downs uh, there on the side. It also has uh, additional tie downs. That's what was in that box under the seat um, to where they install on the side there. It has 410 gear ratio here in the back and the rear end. And this is a four wheel drive truck. If you hadn't noticed the 4x4 on the side of the truck there. Let's take a look in here. There's where the uh, diesel fuel goes. Take a quick peek on this side just so you can get a different perspective.
Looks like the bird's been around here. Okay, so here's the starting to get into the fun part where the driver's seat is. And you can see it has a, you know, basically a mirror of the other side, except for this one uh, has a little bit more buttons. You do have the presets for the seat right here. You also have a, an, an exit um, option to where you can push that and you know the seats will get out of your way and uh, so you can exit the vehicle easier or enter. You have your uh, window controls, uh, your child safety locks there and window locks, door lock controls, side mirror controls right there. You can also fold in the side mirrors like so by pushing that button both of them will fold in. Here's the power seat with lumbar support. There's a little lumbar support button there. Here's the headlight control. It is an automatic headlight. You can have it, turn them off. You can have auto. You can have it um, your parking lights or your headlights. You can push it in for your fog lights. There's a dimmer switch right there. This is your four-wheel drive control. It is a um, you know just a, a, a shift knob there. You can put it in forward. <clears throat> two-wheel drive high is what it's showing there. You've got four-wheel drive high with the, the arrow pointing up as high. Four-wheel drive low is the arrow pointing down. <clears throat> now you do have a uh, trailer brake gain control here so you can fine-tune it uh, to match the vehicle. Now you notice on the tilt uh, steering wheel on the column here, you've got a, a switch here for tilt, but you also have this one that folds down and that's for your telescope. So you can telescope it with a separate uh, butt, a separate uh, lever. So, so once you get the telescope out right, you can adjust the um, the tilt without disturbing your telescopic option, your uh, distance. All right, so let me hop in here. Alrighty, let me get the key out because the um, this truck, even though I've got it started, I used the remote start, I still have to take the key, put it in the ignition, and turn the vehicle on. And let us it do its thing. It's kind of start it starts up and all that. Now the climate control was on. It's just all the all the gauges, and I wouldn't be able to this actually drive it. In demonstration mode, connected by OnStar's high-speed 4G connection. Press the blue OnStar button to learn more. All right. So here on the steering wheel, it is a leather-wrapped steering wheel with the, and it's brown. It's a brown, a dark brown, and I like the fact that they went with the uh, matching color of the vehicle. And um, you got the stitching here on the inside. You also have a bunch of buttons. Uh, you do have volume control on the back of the steering wheel here. So when you're cruising along, you can adjust the volume like so. You can also uh, change through your presets on the back of this side. You can also change through the stations. Um, I mean, uh, the, uh, the tracks, if you have like a CD player or something in there. It's on the back of the steering wheel. So here on the left side, your cruise control buttons are here. And uh, this is for your heated steering wheel here. That is your your crash alert button there. Now, when you push it, you see this pops up. It shows you it's going to alert you if you if you get too close to a vehicle. So, uh, but you can set the distance. So I can set it well, only when it's real close, or off, or far away. See it cycles through uh, those options there. So that way, um, you know, if you know how, you know, if you're kind of, uh, it's alerting you too much, then you may want to, um, you know, back off the distance a little bit. On the right side, you've got your Bluetooth button uh, for your your phone mixed in with your voice recognition. So that um, when you push that button, you can say call a certain person. You can also say go to a certain address. You can say. Um, tune to a certain station. It is a complete voice recognition button. 
you can also hang up the phone using that button there. Now these arrows and the check mark correspond with this little menu system between all these gauges. Now look at all those gauges. Uh, it does have the um, your fuel gauge, your temperature, battery voltage, oil pressure, the whole nine yards there. But right there in the center, I'm going to scroll down using that down arrow just to kind of show you the different uh, information that you can get with um, scrolling through that screen. So, um, you know, just to kind of give you an idea, there's there's some more stuff in there, but, uh, you know, the stuff that you may not always look at, but it will alert you if something's out of range. Like, you notice the tire pressure and the, uh, and the change in the oil, stuff like that. It'll tell you, hey, there's a tire pressure out of whack. Um, it's time for the oil change, stuff like that. Also, you notice um, on the bottom left, it says SE. That stands for southeast. That means the truck is facing southeast right now. All right, it does have a column shifter, so I'm going to go ahead and show you, put it in reverse like so, and when I do that, the backup camera pops up here. Also, this turns on your, uh, your parking sensors. Now, you'll notice you can see the bumper there. You can also see the trailer hitch sticking out a little bit. This is awesome for backing up to trailers. Now, when you're backing up to a trailer, um, the parking sensors are going to beep at you because it senses the trailer you can turn off that button, uh, turn off that, that feature by pushing that this button right here. You can turn that off and that way it's not beeping at you while you're trying to line up the, uh, the trailer. Or anytime you want to turn it off you can just push that button. So I can continue on and go down here to drive. Now uh, you can see right here where it says drive and, and then it, just past that is M. So I'm going to go down to M. Now this is the manual mode, so if you need to um, change the gears or have more precise uh, uh, ch choice of the, the gear, gear shift points, you can use these buttons here, but it only lets you go a certain, wet, certain amount. So I'm going to push the buttons here, and it's, gonna, it's just cycling through, but when I start driving, it may not allow me to start off in like 6 gear, so um, cause, you know, that could be a big strain on the transmission and the, and the motor and all that stuff. So, um, you know, so that's how you can downshift if you're going down hills, stuff like that. It also has the trailer tow button here, so you want to push that when you're pulling a heavy trailer uh, to let the vehicle know that, you know, it needs to shift a different way and needs to hold the, um, you know, the RPMs and, and, and not go into the extreme uh, overdrive type gears. Alrighty, so now we've got, um, this is your radio and all that stuff. This is a touch screen and basically you've got your radio there you've got your phone information here which there's no there's no phone paired now and then there's your navigation screen there now you can put in a destination or you can view the map get your bearings you can zoom in and out if you wanted to do that um, you can also hit the home button here and this will take you to a whole bunch of different options you can check the weather you can also check uh, hook your phone up uh, when it's paired with Bluetooth, if you have Pandora um, installed on your phone, you can play music through the Pandora system on your phone. Uh, you can control your video uh, screen back there up here. Um, so there's lots of cool things that you could do with this screen. It's um, and it continues on. There's the OnStar button there. You can actually text, uh, use some voice to text uh, features, stuff like that. Your volume button is here. Tune through the stations is there. Change to the tracks. Uh, you do have a back button. Um, your media button is for your playing music through uh, other sources besides your CD player and radio. And um, so there's your CD player. And I'll show you those sources in a minute. Here is your climate control. So you've got a dual zone. So that left dial here is for the driver. There's the passenger. You can sync them both. It's where you can control them both with the driver's uh, option here. And uh, if you need to change, unsync it, you just start changing the passenger side to a specific number and that will take the sync off. 
So here's your climate control. You can put air conditioning on. You can tell it where you want the air to blow. Um, you have the front and rear defrosters, all that good stuff. Now, I'm going to go ahead and try out this air conditioned seat. And also, it does have the heated seats as well, back or bottom and back. And there's different levels here that you can choose. Same thing for the passenger side. Now you've got a whole bunch of buttons down here. Now this vehicle, since it's a diesel, uh, it does have the exhaust brake. So if you're going downhill, like I was mentioning before, and you need to downshift or something like that, or even if you don't downshift, you can use the exhaust brake to use the uh, engine braking to slow you down a little bit more than what it normally would. Actually a lot more. <laughs> this button uh, turns um, the lane departure warning system on or off. So basically when you're driving along, <clears throat> it kind of looks at the lines on the road and you know if you start swerving off the road or something it's going to alert you. We already know what that is, your parking sensors. This button is for your cargo light. This illuminates the back of the, uh, the bed. Um, there's a light on the top of the back of the cab which will shine down over all the bed. Your trash control there, you can turn that off if you need to. Default is on. That's mostly for if you get stuck or something and you need to spin tires or rock the vehicle or whatever. If you, That's the only time I would recommend turning it off. And this is your button for adjusting your pedals. You can adjust it like so. And that's your, your um, uh, brake and acceleration pedal. So that's your adjustments there. <clears throat> so you got all this stuff covered up. Uh, let me just go ahead and flip them up so you can see. There's three USB ports. You can use those for charging. You can use them for playing music through the sound system, and that's what that media button is for. One of the options there. You also have two 12-volt uh, cigarette lighter-style plug-in power supplies. And then you have an Edison plug here that is a 115-volt um, Edison plug, just like you would see in the house. It does have up to 150 watts. Uh, at, at its disposal, but um, that will power a lot of low drain stuff like a laptop, like charging a laptop, cell phone, different things like that. It's not going to power a super high uh, device like a, you know, like a hair dryer or anything like that. So just keep that in mind. It is a, um, it, it looks like a, it is a outlet just like you would find in your house, but it doesn't have the same capabilities as far as the uh, the amperage that it, one in your house does. I like these little things right here. Um, it's real easy to put business cards in there, pins, stuff like that. A real quick access place to have it. Uh, you also have this um, storage pocket there. Cup holders are here. And these can pop in and out and you can re reposition them if you wanted to. They kind of snap in place. It's, I don't want to mess it up with doing it one handed. But you can unsnap it and move it up here if you wanted to. So here's your uh, armrest center console here. You got a little place in the center for putting stuff. Uh, it keeps it in place. It, and then your arms go on the other side. This lifts up. And then you've got a whole storage system in here. So first of all, you got this tray. And then the tray has these little uh, secret pockets under there so you can hide stuff. And then the tray comes out and you got this big place to you know fill up with junk. You also got this little pocket here on the side for putting stuff. And then you notice over there to the right, it has two USB ports and an SD card input. SD card, two USBs, and an auxiliary input. So there's more ways of playing music through the sound system of your vehicle. You also have a 12 volt power supply on this side. And you have these little places here for wires to go in and out of this pocket. Of the storage container very very handy all right so the rearview mirror has an OnStar button so you can communicate with OnStar use that feature uh, you do have an emergency uh, button there Let's see if I can get the camera to focus in on that it is an auto dim rearview mirror so you notice a little light sensor up here uh, this will dim the rearview mirror if somebody's behind you with high beams on and, and it keeps you from getting blinded and then up here we've got a got like a tap light there with the LEDs. We need just a little bit of light there. 
you can change those lights to where they're on or turn all the lights on in the truck you can have it just when the door opens or completely off if you want to these three buttons here are your garage door openers they do have to be paired with your garage door in order to work this is for your sliding um, back, back glass there so you can open that up and close it if you want some fresh air flowing through and speaking of fresh air uh, it does also have a sunroof and the controls are right here so you can tilt it or you can slide it all the way back and if it's too much light you can just close it off completely you also have a kind of a small place for putting um, your sunglasses it's kind of surprises it's kind of small some people have big flashy um, you know Hollywood sunglasses so this might not fit all sunglasses which you do have plenty of other places to put your sunglasses if you need to just take a look around there see what it looks like back there from this angle And you can see it has a stitching here on the dash and just a really really high quality truck it's no joke right here this is very impressive comfortable it'll make your day <laughs> way more comfortable working in this truck or driving around in this truck doing what you need to do all right let's take a look at that duramax diesel engine So there it is, 6.6 .6 liter V8 Duramax. And then I mentioned it's a turbo diesel. No, I didn't, but it is. But you probably already knew that. And I like the fact that I don't have it covered up with plastic too much. I got a little tiny bit of plastic. The rest is, you can see all the metal and all the cool stuff there all right there you have it that's an awesome truck, isn't it? 2015 Chevrolet Silverado at Judd Coon Chevrolet in North Portal Beach. Thank you to Judd Coon Chevrolet for allowing me to check out an awesome truck and share it with the world. And thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. If you can help me out, I'd really appreciate it. If you can share this video, like, subscribe, send it to anybody you think might be useful to them. And thank you for watching. See you next time.